What is up, YouTube Killing Floor fans? Whatever you may be playing. Uh, my name is CTG Wixen, and I may actually have a solution for you. This is for Killing Floor 2, and this is more so if the game doesn't run at all. If you have that splash screen error, I don't know what to do about that, but this should get you up and running. Now, first things first, uh, you're going to want to download the latest driver available for whatever graphics card you may be running. If it's AMD, download AMD. If it's NVIDIA, download NVIDIA. Follow their tutorials. Make sure you go through it bit by bit and it, like properly uninstall whatever driver you're currently using and uh, actually update to the latest driver. Trust me, it will help. If for, some odd, if for some odd reason the most stable driver doesn't work, download the betas. They're, they don't offer the best performance, but they definitely do help. Sorry for opening that window anyways. Uh, anyways, uh, let's get straight into it. Uh, li first things first, go into your library, look straight at Killing Floor, I mean just look at it. Be mad if you want to, I don't care. Go into properties, local files, you can verify your, the integrity of your game cache, but chances are you have it installed perfectly fine and you're just having problems with it. Go up to browse local files, go into there. From there, I want you to go into your common redistri uh, redist folder, and these four items are actually what you may or may not be missing. Not even kidding here. Uh, as it turns out, the tripwire actually slightly messed up on the actual installer through Steam, and for some odd reason, it's not actually installing DirectX, PhysX, .NET, or Visual Plus. So first things first, go into DirectX and install this. A lot of I know you may already have this, but just trust me. If you happen to have need administrative privileges and you personally don't know what the password, get your parents, your friends, whoever it's whoever's computer this is, and ask them for it. Install DirectX, obviously. I already have it installed. I don't know why I'm going through this, so we will be right back. Alright, so we are back. Uh DirectX is installed, running everything or, or not running but it's installed wow I missed that click from there once you install DirectX hop all the way back install .NET yes I know it's .NET 3.5 chance are you running either .NET 4 or .NET 4.5 which by that point you really don't need to worry about this but I still recommend double clicking it making sure it opens yes it's just gonna extract the folders won't really do much else that's perfectly fine I'm yeah, all it is is just putting the files where they're supposed to be Go back, go over to physics, and once again, do the exact same thing. The thing. As you can tell, I already have it. Now, I'm pretty sure this is probably one of the main reasons as to why the game isn't running is because, well, physics is missing, and the game's freaking out about that. Once you have that installed, uh, here, let's exit out of that. Once you have that installed, go back, go all the way back once again, and go into your V credit folder. Install whatever maybe you may have to run. Uh, if you're running a 32-bit operating system, you only need x86. If you have a 64-bit operating system, go right on, ahead, uh, right on ahead and install both of these. It will help. It will do wonders for you, actually. Chances are, oh, whoops. Chances are you actually already have them installed. I recommend going ahead and clicking repair on both of them. Why? It's better to be safe than sorry, in all honesty. So, yeah, I already have that installed. From there, uh, once again, make sure you have the proper drivers, the most up-to-date drivers. I don't care if they may or may not be beta. Make sure that you have the proper drivers because it will save you so much trouble. And if all else fails and for some odd reason that doesn't work, launch options. Oh, my God, these things are amazing. Uh... Go right on in and type exactly what I have right there, dash DX10. Trust me, you, like you, oh, whoops, just type that in, hit OK, uh, whoops, why the heck did all that, oh, that's right, because I'm stupid. Anyways, go back, click close, and guess what? You should be in business this time. So, yeah. So yeah, uh, once you have that entire thing set up, you can just go ahead and kind of like set everything up. I mean, look at this. Look at this beauty. Actually, I don't think you can actually. 
so yeah once all that's done the game will be running uh if you happen to have for some odd if you for some odd reason have a uh, driver crash like i said update 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 it's always nice to keep your system up to date yeah not all updates work but it is wonderful to keep it up to date so yeah this is ttg overton signing off thank you everybody